at ease. Take a seat. By the order of the Office of General Foley, Captain Peters and the unit under his command are to transport a group of prisoners to the Soenzo Prison Complex for processing. Captain, what I'm about to tell you is neither on the record nor official in any way. Although your primary orders is to transport these prisoners safely, frankly, I don't think any of us will give a damn if they shall meet with some sort of misfortune. Do you understand? But sir, my orders were specifically to only... The general will only know that you disobeyed a direct order if you state so in your report, Captain. Thank you, sir. Dismiss. You're in early. Shut up. You okay? Do I look okay? I just meant that. Do I look okay? Well, yeah, but then, I'm... then I'm okay. What it? What is it? Uh, sir. What? I I just wanted to apologize about the problem. What? What problem? Y your computer. The surge protector's broken. Thank you. Y you're welcome, sir.
look about back there. No need to apologize. I'll just go back to working efficiently like I'm supposed to. Look, I'm just... Do you want to tell me what's going on? Never mind. A man who served as an officer in the Special Forces doesn't break down this easily. What? You're wondering how I know what's wrong. You must remember we're the same person. We both served in the military. We even were in the same unit. We were trained to act the same, think the same, react the same, even feel the same things. We are the exact same person. So how then does something bother you and not me? You know, we were both POWs in the war at one time or another. What if they had done to us what we had done to them? We would have been shot. Has it ever occurred to you that we gave them that idea? The field, you feel guilty. Oh, come off it. You were just as content as the rest of us. We were supposed to transport them safely. And yet we were still given the option to kill them. That wasn't an official order. And yet it was still given. Every person on Earth at some point in their life finds it necessary to break the threads of the values that they have set. What you did was right. Right? You think shooting an unarmed prisoner was right? The practical definition of the phrase morally right cannot be defined by a dictionary since its usage creates the state of its existence. What? What you did seemed right to you at the time. No, you're wrong. Right is not personal. Right doesn't even exist. But according to society's standards, what we did was wrong. Do you, Do you really believe that? <laughs>